time for another BTS vlog and we were chugging along this week uh, I'm trying to deal with some of the uh, fatigue issues here uh, I'll give you the time and day stamp to give you an idea of what I'm talking about it's 8 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Thursday February 20th 2014 and I'm just finishing up the Wednesday day the um, finishing up from the 19th and now it seems to be finishing I'm, I'm finishing now at 9 o'clock in the morning which isn't ne necessarily a good thing because uh, now I'm sleeping days rather than sleeping nights again well it's getting the, the time is shifting again so and <sighs> it's always rough and difficult on the body when the time shifts with it has now so Anyways, let's do our welcome to uh, the new uh, viewers. I hope to get some more viewers in here. So, uh, welcome to Cyborg Alpha TV. We are a new type of uh, channel on YouTube. We hope to be a PBS-style channel. That means we will always be free. We will always be open. And we will never move behind a uh, paid-for subscription wall. Uh, that being said... Uh, if you look at the description down below, you will find the contents of the show. And below that, you will find a, uh, a uh, the number of shows being produced. As well, if you look at the, at the, uh, the uh, subject line, the title, uh, the, f scroll, the, uh, the uh, fancy brackets uh, furthest to the left. I think they are, yeah, furthest to the left on your screen. Uh, that's, that's basically your first information. That's the title of the show. And then uh, it's either the episode number or the uh, title of that particular episode. So that's where we're, that's how that works. <laughs> and you, and you, you can watch as much or as little as you want. Also in the description you'll find in the, the uh, uh, contents of the show the number of segments. You can jump between the segments so you don't have to watch the entire thing. You can watch one segment at a time if you want to. So... Uh, what else is there now? Oh, yeah, that's right. As I said before, uh, there are things, uh, moving out of, uh, BTS vlogs, the ad hoc notes. Oh. For some of the stuff that we're doing on Insta vlogs, particularly the Illuminati puzzle, and now the whole YouTube, uh, copyright issue has moved off of BTS vlogs into, uh, Insta vlogs. Because enough notes have been developed, uh, so that now they are no longer ad hoc, but now they're more developed, more organized, and they'll be coming up on Insta vlogs, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, so that leaves uh, us uh, with uh, holes to fill, and I decided let's uh, bring in some show development here. Since we did uh, show development for uh, Insta vlogs, we've been doing show development in here. Uh, we've done test uh, uh, video tests, you know, test test shots. That's right. That's in here. Now let's bring in uh, show development. So I got three shows I'm in, in that, that are in development right now. Um, they're not f full yet, and, and the titles are rather loose. These are not the final titles, but uh, they're loose titles. First is Gaming RL, and this will be gaming from the uh, uh, role-playing perspective, looking at different types of games that are out there. And how to sort of go from the your standard type of gaming into gaming RL. <sighs> Sorry about that. The next show that's in development that you'll see in this vlogs as well is Toys. Uh, toys is going to be a web show uh, dedicated to playing with toys. 
And but rather than buying the toys, because I don't have a lot of money to buy toys, uh, or yeah, I don't have a lot of money to buy anything. I that's why we're freaking here. We will take the freaking approach to toys. In other words, we will construct as much as possible. We can, we will construct our own toys. We will make our own toys. We will make our own dolls. We will make our own uh, uh, you know uh, art. We will we will do things in a manner that is. Oh, sorry again. Uh, we will do things in a free in a manner that, that is very inexpensive that anyone can do. And this this show will be aimed at kids, you know, kids like from 8 to um, eight to 15 or even higher if they want. I'll show you how to connect things so that, you know, you can keep, you can bring your child. This is what a lot of people want to do. A lot of people want to stay kids forever because at some point in time they have to leave the childhood behind. But if, if you're a person who's getting older and preparing to leave childhood, I'll be putting in the toys uh, ways of sort of taking your childhood with you into adulthood, uh, if that's what you want to do. Then the third uh, show that's being developed is known as Music Studio. This is uh, the studio that I have here, the music studio that I have here. I already did a test shot on that the last in the last video, but we'll do some more test shots in this uh, BTS vlog, in this BTS vlog as well, so uh, that should be interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it ends. We'll see what ends up happening. Anyways, I'm uh, f falling asleep now. So before I yawn the rest of the time away, I'll see you in a couple hours for uh, the uh, second segment for the next segment of this BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. It's just about uh, uh, let's see, 2 o'clock in the morning. And it's time for the uh, second segment of this BTS vlog here. So, uh, let's get with it. It's going to be the time and date stamp. It is 2 hours and 16 minutes into the day of Friday, February 21st, 2014. And we're on schedule, more or less, in terms of the work we're getting done. And uh, we're uh, Working on, I'm working on the back studio, trying to get everything fixed up so I can start doing more filming back there. There's some, this is the problem. Not all the studios were fully ready, so I started using them. But as more demands come in uh, and require more and more use of them, uh, then uh, uh, I have to do more work on them. That kind of takes a bit of time. That's what's happening with the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner is uh, is progressing because. Uh, I'm working. On, uh, I'm working on the diet. I'm actually sort of fixing. I'm still, still sort of constructing it. And I said I'm doing everything with a, a, a freaking point of view. Then, in, in other words, I'm not going out spending a lot of money on stuff. I'm buying used, refurbished equipment, uh, and all these things need, need uh, fixing up. They don't come in, come in as is. So that kind of uh, you know it slows things down. It, it's not as quick as buying something brand new, plopping it in, and away you go. Uh, when something is old or uh, being reused, you have to fix it up. There needs repairs to be done with it. Uh, you may not always have the money to do to get the parts, or you may not be able to find the parts right away. It may take some time to get the parts or find the parts. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of the uh, the the challenges uh, on working on a freaking budget. But you can work on a freaking budget, freaking budget. And this sort of leads into the uh, music studio and the fact that I'm building the music studio here uh, on Linux. And I'm not going to be using anything else but Linux or, or open source to do the music with. And this is the same thing with the videos. Uh, the TV channel here, all, all, the TV, all, all the channels that are going to be associated with uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network, the ones that I'm working on, uh, that whole project there is all on open source. It's all on uh, Linux. So, uh, we're not going to be going out to professional software. Uh, we're not going to be going out to, you know, uh, high-end stuff. Everything's going to be done uh, in a very uh, open source, every in a freaking manner where 
things have to be worked on. So in other words, things aren't out of the box. They're not, you know, here you go and it's all ready for you. Uh, if you want an effect in the video, you have to actually work on the effect and, and develop it through. So there is more of a hands-on uh, type of uh, thing going on here. And this is what this is why you know I look at this, looking at the sort of the, the music uh, studio. Uh, and this is the new uh, show that I'm working on. That will sort of uh, liven things up a bit, little bit. It's sort of like if you know the TV show from Nickelodeon called uh, Big Time Rush, BTR. Uh, it's about four boys who come from Minnesota, and they're sort of uh, their uh, uh, their trek, if you will, from the time they arrive in LA. To their stardom. So, in other words, it's uh, it's a light it's a light uh, it's a light series in terms of it's it's not there's no drama in it, but uh, it does present a sort of a lighter side of things. And so I thought, you know, let's follow in that track there. Let's see what I can do in terms of and this kind of connects with the gaming RL because if you look at this from the point of view of uh, karaoke or uh, other online games where you play a musician. And you have to learn the part or, or, or start mashing buttons to get the right things. To get the right uh, chords there. You know, to follow the right patterns. Well, this is kind of the same thing here, but it's taken to the next episode. You're taking gaming out of the game sphere, out of its limited box, and bringing it into a much larger realistic setting. And really approaching it, approaching it like geek games. Geek games, and I was watching uh, Kat's uh, video uh, on her trip to Strategicon. Well, they playing all these board games, and I know these board games. I know I, I, I know of them, and I know people who play them. They spend hours studying the manual. They spend hours going to conferences, and that's why they have these conferences to learn more about these strategic games. But my, my my thing is why spend nine ten hours working on a game? You know, that's just again that's stuck inside of a box or or, or like yo or something like that. When you could be doing this for real life, I mean, you could take the same gaming principles but bring it into real life. In other words, that's gaming RL. And this is kind of where the music studio and, and what's happening now is I've got the studio working basically. Now I have to do more configuration uh, on the uh, Linux desktop. I'm learning how to work with uh, sound fonts now, and sound fonts are. Uh, or if I press a key here on the keyboard, it gives you different sounds. And so I can have, I have the sounds that are in the piano here that came, that came with the keyboard. But when I hook it up to the computer, I can get a lot more sounds out of it. I can get drums. I can get very different types of drums. I can even record my own sounds and work with it on the keyboard. So uh, there's a lot of different options uh, with the, the uh, with the um, sound files and sound fonts. That you could actually end up producing your entire your whole music studio right on Linux, and that's where I aim to go. I aim to develop and design my own music studio on Linux. That's where we are right now. Uh, one of the issues that I have to work on today and tomorrow is working on uh, the sound levels and the recording. Uh, there are some issues that popped up yesterday when I did the uh, video test. Uh, I did the video test through the microphone here. It went into the sound into the uh, into the computer. But there was some, there was some, there was a background hum there, and I think I don't know whether is I misset some of the volumes, or there is a um, a ground fault problem. There's a uh, a grounding problem someplace within the uh, wiring system. So that's something that I got to work out. Got to see how how it uh, you know, sort of plays out. But this is sort of it gives you the um, the it gives you sort of. The impetus to move ahead, and then and it drives you forward it, as you solve problems. Even, there, even though they're minor problems, you may solve minor problems. Uh, this says, okay, you've done the minor problem, let's go to the next problem now. And you start moving ahead, ahead, you know, as you go through problem after problem. And this sort of brings up your whole thing on, on problem solving skills. Because part of the, one of the things about problem solving skills, if you set yourself a task that's too large, in other words, you don't break up your problem into smaller, easier chunks then you're going to fail at that task. In many cases, what's going to happen, if, you, if you're the type of person who doesn't like failure, you're going to walk away from and that's going to be the end of it. So you've got to really learn how to manage your tasks, how to manage your projects, and also how to manage your feelings about failure, because that's the whole key here. If you fail, there's no big, big, big deal. Dust yourself off, get up and try again. You know, readjust your, readjust your scheduling. Re, readjust the project and how you approach the project. Maybe take a smaller chunk out of it. 
So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in the next segment where we'll be going into talking about toys in the back room. All right. Bye. Surprised to see me here? <laughs> yeah, normally I'm not vlogging from this spot here. This is usually uh, this is the back room. This is the couch where we have our discussions. But uh, because I said we're adding new segments to uh, the uh, BTS vlog, uh, well, I'm here. So, uh, anyways, uh, uh, let's get started. I'll give you the time and date stamp. And uh, this will sort of get us on our way. It is 9 hours and 43 minutes into the day of Saturday, February 22nd, 2014. That's right. Uh, I have, if, you, if, if you've been watching these videos, if you've been watching the BTS vlog, uh, very unusual times. When I start and when I finish really depends on how projects go. And when I vlog, obviously, it has to do with when uh, projects start and when they finish. So, you know, it, it does take a, a bit of time uh to get used to the schedules here and the thing is it's not always as easy as it is sort of just to get up and do something so uh that's kind of the way things work here so i'll be trying to vlog from here uh when we're doing when we're doing uh maybe uh i think maybe toys the one we're doing here <clears throat> excuse me the reason why i'm back here is because uh, the new segment I'm bringing in, it's a new show I'm developing in addition to the music uh, studio. I'm doing another one called Toys. Again, these aren't exact titles. These are approximate titles, uh, or more should say descriptive titles rather than anything else. And because these shows are still very early in the concept stage. And I'm testing them out here inside BTS Vlog, so you're seeing behind the scenes stuff. Uh, I was still doing an enormous amount of work on uh, the um, the kitchen diner. I did an enormous amount of cleaning today for getting a section, a new section of, of the of the uh, diner that I want to do different things with. I'm getting that functional and operational. So the goal is that at some point in time that what we can eventually start filming in there, there'll be a lot of space to move around with, and, that, and that's base of the goal. I'm going to try something new tomorrow. Uh, starting tomorrow and for the next couple of weeks I'll be working on uh, basically uh, learning how to do flatbreads. Flatbreads are these flat uh, bread. They're, 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 well, they're, <laughs> they're like if you know what a gyro, gyro is, if you know what these, uh, if you know what a tortilla is that, 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 that you wrap um, uh, burritos in there, if you know what the, the type of dough that they have for uh, egg rolls and uh, other types of uh, food like that. Well, then this is what a flatbread is, and there's a, you can use it use a variety of different types of flours inside your flatbread in order to produce different uh, flavors and textures. And so that's what I'll be doing over the next month or so. Uh, I'll be working on flatbreads, and I'm working on, on the Greek and Middle Eastern style flatbreads known as pita. Uh, this is akin to rolling out your own filo dough. This is like, like, instead of buying filo dough, you're making the filo dough, so that's where we're going with this. So anyways, I said, why are we sitting back here? Uh, we're sitting back here because uh, most geeks like to play. And as you notice, I've got all my uh, toys around with me. Here's my SpongeBob SquarePants. Although we can't be, you can't actually see the guy here because of the graphics. I'm thinking of redoing the graphics again so that... When we're back here, we can see some of the decorations. So right now, what I'll do is I'll put this guy back here so he's more visible. One guy in the back there is blocked, but that's okay. And then I've got this guy here. This guy's always vis visible here. And as I said, I do like my toys. I do like uh, to play with things still. Uh, I've been uh, sort of getting into the uh, on the online uh, on the online communities. They have these uh, thing called Little's Pet Shop, and there's also My Little Pony. This is where uh, I can actually uh, practice if practice my graphics by going into these areas and working on icons, working on graphics, doing uh, drawing, and you know, you can really bring up your graphic arts like that and and have fun at the same time. So the geek part of you is you're still learning, you're still uh, you know 
trying to push that envelope of what you know. But on the playful side, which is the playful side of the geek, is you want to have fun playing with different toys. And see, I've got more toys here. I've got a whole set of Alvin and the Chipmunks toys here. I can't remember where I got these from, but I got I have the whole set of Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Then I have uh, this race car here that's uh, uh, Mario Kart. It's actually uh, not Mario Kart. It's, it's uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I have another Super Mario Brothers here, but this is a this is a pop up one here. You, you sort of push it down like that, and then at some point in time it pops up. Let me see here. Push it down like this, and it pops up. There you go. That's that toy there. <laughs> so, as like I said, I do like playing with my toys. I do like uh, having uh, fun like that. So, uh, I am still working on setting this area up here so I can do more in terms of the... Uh, oh... For both the uh, fashion design and uh, that's for, for Beauty and the Geek and for uh, uh, the uh, toys thing because what we're going to do, the way I decided to do is, is uh, part of the toys we'll be looking at uh, drawing and creating our own uh, dolls. I'm approaching toys from the same perspective I approach everything else. Uh, I'm a freegan. I don't have a lot of money to spend on things. So things have to be cheap, and that's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna cheap out on things, create toys. Uh, if because I, I saw this one, that one comment, uh, I can't remember it was either um, it was either uh, mommy the mommy and Gracie show or um, Bertelli or some one of the other shows. One of the, there's there's three of them. There's Bertelli, uh, there's Kitty's Mama, and there's uh, what you call it, uh, mommy and Gracie. They all feature out. They always have toys as their as their thing as their thing uh, in their videos. And one of the girls was talking about all the dolls she has. But in the comment, one of the girls that was sort of uh, you know, and I guess you know th th this is what happens is that there are kids who don't have as much as some other kids do. Some kids have a lot more. Some kids have a lot less. And some kids are in between. Well, this was a comment from a kid, I guess, who really didn't have much of anything. And said she likes these different things, but has no way of uh, paying for them. Her mom won't get her, does, does, don't, won't get her, or doesn't have the money to get her the dolls that she wants. Uh, and so, this is sort of where we're going to go here, is that we're going to look at some of these more popular dolls, like Monster High, uh, Bratz, uh, Moxie Girls, um... Happily Ever After, there's the uh, My Little Pony. There's a whole bunch of them up there. And see if we can sort of duplicate and recreate these these uh, these toys here. Anyways, uh, that's it for this segment. I'll talk to you uh, in a little while when I get up. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that will sort of close off this uh, vlog and I'll be able to start the... Somewhat of the weekend vlog, because the weekend vlog is not going to actually be that long. It's only going to be for a couple of days. It's going to be basically, basically uh, Sunday and Monday, and that's it. Because uh, now we're running into Saturday already. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you in a couple hours when I get up. Good night. <laughs> morning all even though I'll give you the time and date it is not morning <laughs> uh, it is 22 hours and 10 minutes into the day of Saturday February 22nd 2014 that's our time and date stamp for today or for this segment this last segment of the vlog um, yeah so uh, I just got up and that's sort of well get, getting this uh, studio uh, finally fixed up and working with the, with the camera, camera permanently here and the place so that I can come just come in and, and, and film makes it a lot easier in terms of vlogging I just have to get out of my bed come here do the vlog right after I get up and then uh, later on I'll go on the research desk and I'll start the next uh, series the next uh, BTS vlog 
uh, for uh, Sunday and Monday, the uh, 23rd and 24th, uh, in a few hours, because it's, uh, it's 10 o'clock now. In two hours, it's going to be Sunday, uh, and that's kind of the way things go. Uh, yeah, so that means I'll be able to do uh, uh, the uh, toy stores, the the, the uh, toys uh, web show is going to be the back here that we'll be doing. We'll be working on that, on that for a bit. Then once we get that done, we'll also be working on. I'm uh, going to be working on fixing up the electronics bench today. I have a little more to do to get it working. I got the whole path to the bench cleared, so I should in the uh, BTS log for uh, Sunday and Monday, that for February 23rd and 24th, I should be able to shoot one segment of the BTS vlog on the electronics bench, and that's where also we're going to set up our uh, crafting bench to do, uh, uh, to do the toys, to make our own toys. And that's where we're going to, we are going to be making our own toys. So I've got enough supplies set aside, uh, because I am a freegan, so I have another supply set aside that we can start doing something uh, uh, in the next vlog. Uh, what else is there? I still have a bit more to work on the, the, uh, the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner still has to be worked on for a bit. That needs some work. Uh, but I should... I have to do. Uh, 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 I have to take down a whole section of the kitchen diner, and I have to road improve it. Anytime you build any type of restaurant or or anything like that, uh, the best thing to do is to when you're building it, road improve it. And that, what that means is that you want any space where there's food kept or cooking it, cooking stuff like that you want to prevent rodents from getting up there and onto that on, onto that section. If you do have rodents, and even if you don't have rodents, if you're in an industrial area, and I'm in an industrial area, there are rodents around here. And if you leave food open, you leave food out, you're inviting rodents, you're inviting cockroaches, you're inviting a lot of uh, other animals to come in and, uh, you know, that can get into these small holes and take advantage of what you're providing. So if you keep the place clean, if you sort of make sure that you're, you're, the, where, where the food is, is not accessible to these rodents, then you are ahead of the game, and uh, uh, things should be things should go well. Oh, what else is there to do to talk about today? Uh, I did some more work on yesterday on the uh, music studio. I got a whole bunch of uh, most of the software loaded. I did a lot. Uh, uh, there's so much software up there in the repositories now that. Uh, you have to go. You have to first go get them and then go through them. Anyways, I'm gonna end this here, and I'll see you in a couple hours uh, for the next BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.